Hey there, just uh, just heading up Twin Peaks in the avenues. Just a quick, I don't know what it is, like three miles or something. But I'm um, realizing right now I'm not quite dressed for the occasion. It was hot down at my house and then the second I left, the clouds just rolled in. I do have a jacket. I do actually have pants in my backpack. But... Well, put on my pants straight away and now it's starting hailing, so that was probably a good idea. I don't have a rain jacket, but well, I don't think it's really gonna matter. It's only a short hike. That's where we're heading, Twin Peaks. Just gonna go chill up there for a minute, head back down. Hopefully this hail, I think we're getting, yep, hail doesn't turn to snow or rain. Almost there. This is the the first of the twins, I guess. <laughs> and also the steepest bit. But boy is this beautiful. This is Twin Peaks. This is one of the more accessible peaks in the Salt Lake area. Just uh, two and a, about 2.3 miles from the trailhead. Not too bad at all. Up until the very end, it's pretty smooth uphill. Then it gets a little steep. I'm a little out of breath of that last hill. Whew. But absolutely gorgeous up here, isn't it? Like the snow's coming in. Hopefully I can get off that ridge before, before that hits me. If not, whatever. Makes, for, makes it a little fun. Well, I definitely did beat the storm. Whoa right in my face too. Oh well. 
that's what makes it fun. Alright, that was it. That was Twin Peaks. A little, just a little under four and a half miles. Nice quick, nice quick peak summit. Nice quick peak summit. Nice quick summit. Did it in uh, just about two hours. A little under four and a half miles. Great little summit right outside downtown Salt Lake. That was actually my first time doing that one. I've just never done it. But check that one off the bucket list and uh, guarantee I'm going to be doing that one a lot more. Alright, see you.